All right, welcome to another game of Catan. Uh, looking at the board, I'm seeing the 8, 5, 10 going off to the 3 to 1. Um, I see the 10, 4, 8, decent. Um, I don't love it. I'm in fourth position here, so looks like we might, it might get tough to get a great ore spot. I'm assuming the 5, 8, 10 is going to get taken or the 3, 8, 10 if someone wants wheat. Um, there's a lot of wheat on this board. Um, yeah, the ore is going to be really important here. Also, the brick and the wood is not together. You have the 5, 2 spot and 4, 8 spot, but... Um, it might be tough for someone to fight for road this game. Yeah, so orange takes the 4, 10, 8. I don't hate that. A little less production. Red, I'm assuming, takes the 5, 8, 10 just because it has enough production. He gets the 3 to 1 port and he's able to trade out his wood. Plus, he's definitely going to get on wheat on the way back. Yep, so he takes it. I don't know about going up here. Black takes the 5, 9, 10. I agree with that as well. Okay, so I want to take the 3, 8. Most likely get the free road. Now, what do I want to pair with that? There's not a lot of high production spots left, which is my worry here. So there's the 9, 3, 6, going off to the 3 to 1. You know what we might have to do is go for a road. Mm. I don't love this. Let's see, there's the 6, 5, 11. I want to get this 3, 4, 8 for the free road, but I don't know if I can make it work and still get enough production. So 3, 9, 6. Where's the brick port? Brick port's kind of far. 8, 3 might get taken here too. We could also just... Mm, I don't like that because it's not enough sheep. 6, 5, 11. 8, 4, 3, too low of production. God, I never not want to be on ore, but this might be one of those rare situations. Because is the 11, 6, 12 going to get taken? Well, I could see red maybe taking it. But we're going to have to take the risk here. We are on a lot of wood. We could go up, but I'm assuming someone takes the 3, 11, 8. Or sorry, the 3, 10, 11. We're still going to go up. Maybe snag the ore port from red. Get on some more wood and then take the wheat port. I'm assuming someone takes the 3, 11, 10 here. Black actually has a decent setup, but that 8 is going to get blocked quite a bit. Now I don't, I'm not confident about this one. Comment uh, below if you would have done a different setup here. Because you know I'm a big ore guy and I'm not on ore, which makes me very uncomfortable in this position. My hope is that I'm able to get on this 6, 11, 12. Because let's see, orange could take the 6, 11, 12. I could see that. But there's also this 10, 9, 11. Makes sense for red, but then he has no sheep. Okay, so red takes the 6-3, or the 9-6-3. That's actually a really good setup for him. Now all he needs is to trade out for his, um, his brick. Let's 
Now let's see, where does orange go? Where orange goes really impacts the rest of this game. Now most likely, I'm assuming he's going on the 3, 10, 11 and goes right. Or he can go the 10, 9, 2 and go left. That would give him a pretty solid spot set up. Which keeps the middle of the board a little bit open. Yeah, if he takes the 10 to 9, I wouldn't be that mad because that cuts red off just a little bit so he can't connect. Where I will be able to connect. Yeah, so then he goes, oh, he goes up. Interesting. Now in this position, I would probably rob me here because I have the free road. I don't know if anyone else has the free road. Yeah, makes sense. Yep. It's a good block. I'm not really sure why Orange wouldn't point his road left. Because now I'm definitely wanting to get on the 311.10 spot. Because I need to get on OR. And that helps connect my road, so this is essential that I get on this spot. But red's already moving for it. He has a lot of brick here. So whoever makes it to that spot really gets it. So I have to be cutting red off here as much as I can. Okay, we have our brick. Red might beat us there. Oh, it takes from orange. Hmm. I think we are still going to try to race red here because it would just be so important for our game to get on this settlement. Then again, he's going to place a road at the 10, the 3, 10, 11, which is going to break our road up. So that makes it a little trickier. Does it make more sense to just go to the 11, 6, 12 and then connect later on? No, I think we have to go for it. we have to go for it here worst comes to worst we have to we go off left and get on more wheat but I'd rather take the risk here Yep, he has another road. Very unfortunate. He has a sheep now. The good thing is he's not on any wheat. Would have been really nice if we had two roads to cut him off. But we do not. Brutal, brutal monopoly. Let's see, is he getting the city? He gets the city. Black's in a pretty good spot actually. And so is red if he gets on the 3, 10, 11. It'll be tough to catch up with them.
Definitely not going to make that trade. Now, if we get two fours hitting, take some red. Surprise, I guess it makes sense that he takes some orange since he's competing with him for army. But I think red's going to be more of a threat to him. Going to just pass here. Six hits. Nine. Now all red needs is the wheat, and then he has it. Does he have the sheep? Oh, the, well, he got blocked on nine. Um, should definitely not make this trade to anyone. Um, gives him a settlement. So unless you don't have any wood, there's no point in making this trade. But black does make the trade, and he gets it. So now I have to get on the wheat here, and then get on the wheat port. Maybe he'll make another trade. No? Okay, we are at seven cards. I don't know how much it really helps us to... Let's see if anyone makes this trade. I think we have to buy the dev card here. I didn't want to do that, but I don't think we're going to get robbed, and I don't want to risk 70 out. takes from red. I wonder if he has enough here. Three for ones. Three for ones. Yeah, that's tough. See if anyone makes a trade here. This is going to be a real tough game to win. Black's in a good setup. And if black doesn't take it, red's in a good setup. So we need one more ore here. I'm wishing I would not have bought the dev card now. Sheep for wheat, no, can't really trade. Um, can't afford to really trade red here either. 
The last thing we need is him to get a city. No one trades war here. I doubt it. So we have to get another dev car here. At least it is a year of plenty, which we're definitely going to use for two ore. It's unfortunate our four is not hitting. Now red can do a lot here. He should probably just get to the 11.49 and then get to the three to one. And then he can confidently take road. Gets the three to one first, that's fine. I'm sure he realizes there's not much competition to the 11.49. See if anyone trades for brick. Red does. See if he trades one more. don't get it here um, so we will get on the six first and we're gonna have to use this for two or so we can get our first city it's not over yet we still can expand to the 11 six so we can still maybe compete for the longest road here once we get on the wheat port that'll help us and I don't think we're gonna get blocked too much so it's not the end of the world, but it's an uphill battle for sure. Um, orange is in a tough spot. So I'm doing this for two reasons. One, on the off chance that red tries to cut me off to the wheat port, which I doubt. But two, um, just to get orange thinking. Well, red does take it. Red is looking pretty solid here. If our four hit, we would be in a much better position, but I can't keep complaining about that. Let's see if anyone makes this trade. Probably not. Because red's the only one with a lot of brick. I think he's the only one with any one brick here. And he just used most of it to get his roads. I 
I think we're actually just going to stay here. I mean, we could four for one for an ore, but... Mm, I guess we might as well do that. It's better than almost guaranteeing ourselves a seven out. Um, and we'll just hold for the city here. Maybe I should have bought a dev card there to just to keep it on eight. But honestly, my fear now is more about red. Yeah, I mean, there's still a possibility that we can sneak road, but right now we're at three VPs. So we have a long, long way to go before we can do much. We also need to start prioritizing this wheat port because, and the eight too. And we hit the seven. We blocks the 10 for sure blocks takes rip takes excuse me takes from red Well, this does give us the settlement, so we are just going to have to do it. I don't know if our four is actually hit at all this game. Yeah, definitely shouldn't trade the war here. So right now we're fighting for second. It's a little late now, I think, to do much. Unless our numbers really start hitting. <laughs> and red does roll a seven. <laughs> That's tough. Well, he's obviously going to block the 8 here. It's the only thing that makes sense. Uh, I'm not super mad about it, but I think red is now looking better than... Um, it's looking better than black. If I get a wheat, I'll probably actually get a dev card which looks like I'll be doing. Only because maybe I can try to uh, let's see if I can get a brick here. We do get our brick, so we're going to road over here. Why don't we get on our wheat port? Or do we road to the hmm the wheat port would be nice. And we'll be on more. I think we are going to do this. Always buy the always buy the dev card first.
always buy the dev card first and this is the this is the reason why right here finally hit a four We got our 11. Black is still kind of behind. He does get another city. And eight finally hits. See if anyone makes this trade. I doubt it. I think everyone needs weed at this point. Orange might consider blocking the six, since he can't block his own eight or the nine. Blocks the eight, that's fair. Then blocks the six. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, what I've realized from playing Catan is um, if you cause anyone trouble, it is going to come back to bite you. Okay, we get the 11. Would have been nice if I'm an ore there. Okay, black definitely blocks the 10. Very surprised there.
So just talking in the chat, I think black is incorrect to block or to steal from me here. Like I'm not just trying to influence the the game. Because um, like red says that we're on the same amount. We're not because he has, let's see, nine, nine, four, so 13 pips of, of uh, wood and 10 pips of brick. So Hopefully a seven doesn't, ah, oh, and a seven gets hit. Unfortunate. Um, black definitely needs to be blocking uh, red here, uh, undoubtedly. The three. I'm very surprised about that. We still do not have our settlement. And our six is not hit very often at all either. So orange, I'm assuming, is going to block the six. The ten is the better block. I think I just have to take this war trade. It's just too good. Now if orange um, cuts off red here, then I will be in a better spot for sure. Okay, so do I buy two devs? Do I get a settlement or do I get a city? Let's see if anyone will trade me ore first. I think I need the settlement. Because I need to be able to pour out my resources. So if orange cuts off red here, then red is screwed. But I think red's still going to get it. He has seven resources.
But then again, he doesn't have any brick. So, we'll see. If I do have brick, I'm obviously going to give it to orange so we can cut um, red off here. And if that happens, then I have a real shot at winning. But we still have a long way to go. We need a settlement, a city, and one more road. Nine hits. I can't imagine red doesn't have enough to connect. Which puts him at nine. Or no, he already has... Road or city. <laughs> he should probably get the road here, actually, if I were him. So he, it looks like he has a lot of sheep. He does have a three to one port, so he can do something. I'm assuming he can only build one road, which he's skeptical of doing because then orange can just cut him off. Now orange shouldn't, or uh, black has no reason to trade with red here. So red just goes for the dev. He finally hit a three, which is huge for us. Yeah, he gets four devs, so. I'm not getting, um, okay, so we have the settlement. Hmm. Dang it, should have should have placed the settlement. I didn't think a four would hit. But we are gonna take that trade. <laughs> Orange gets his revenge and I have a chance, but black is still obviously looking better. <laughs> a lot of beef in this game we can still take it though city city settlement and one road Orange just waiting his turn out. I wonder, Orange has to have a VP. Because otherwise he would have played a knight by now. Yeah, definitely black is in the best position, but it's definitely feels a lot like me and
Me and orange versus red and black. But black has all the knights. So yeah, he's got to play the knight here. Puts it on the three. Takes from me, I'm assuming. The four is starting to hit, though. Which is fantastic. We have enough to win. If we can get a wood here. Hmm, can we is there any way we can win? Maybe with a dev, a lucky dev. Oh wait, we can win. Holy, holy mackerel. <laughs> I just wanna make sure I don't mess this up. Did not expect that. interesting game there was a lot of beef during that game um black definitely got screwed on the eights But, um, so wait, let's look at the board real quick. Um, so, definitely owe a lot to Orange here. Um, so I guess a lot of little mistakes. Like, the mistake that Red made there was he rushed this. I wasn't really, um, <laughs> at least you're proud of your win. So, um, so Red rushed this a little bit, and I think by trading Black, um, in a position where it would make a lot more sense that orange gets this kind of hurts him um, I mean, it's not something that is guaranteed, but it's always a factor you should take into account And if he was looking at the cards, I was not really close to fighting him for this spot unless I had a couple lucky fours um, It did make sense to block this eight though anytime that they did block the eight I think black would have taken it pretty easily um, Let's see Dice stats. Yeah, our numbers did not hit. I think we just didn't get robbed enough towards the end. And eventually our numbers just started hitting. And we really didn't need to pull for devs. So we try to be as efficient as possible this game. And I think it paid off. So anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. And I will see you in the next one.